here's my uh, review so far of uh, DC Universe's Doom Patrol. Uh, it's around anti-heroes, I guess, or superheroes. I don't know if, what, what they really are. It uh, stars Ben and Frazier, and he's a robot uh, brain inside a robot's body. Uh, there's a girl that has um, like 50-some uh, personalities. It's, some of them have powers. Um, like uh, one of the personalities, you, she can say whatever she wants, and it comes up like a comic book. On the on the screen, and then she uses that as a, and it turns into like a knife kind of thing. This is powers. Another one that glows. Um, uh, and then there's uh, a, a star, female star that's from like the '60s. She was huge, and she's like kind of a bitch. Um, she turns into a blob thing. Um, then there's Cyborg. And there's a guy that was that's a gay guy that's in the Air Force. It was like the seventies or something, and uh He's all bandaged up like the mummy, and uh, he has some sort of uh, alien lightning person inside him. Um, then there's a guy that's it's inside a wheelchair. I mean, it's on in a wheelchair. Some sort of the genius of it. Um, it's. It's kind of like a, a comedy action cyberpunk thing uh, looking, a cyberpunk looking theme kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, um, it's, it's okay, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, um, cause it's kind of like, eh. Um, but I'm, I'm still watching it, and I'm like five episodes in. It's it's better than Titans, the live-action Titans, let's put it that way. Costumes are way better. Um, storytelling, eh. Some episodes are better than the others. Um, but, uh, i just curious on the story of uh, how of it keep going. Interesting. Uh, that's not really much to say about it. I would say if you're interested in, or if you're big in watching DC shows, I would recommend it, maybe. Like a vague, maybe. Um, but not really recommend it. I mean, I don't really know. I'm going back and forth on it. Um, but anyways.